Why did I make this? What am I gonna do with this? Do I put this in the centrifuge and spin it? <laughs> I don't understand. Why did I do this to myself? I can't go up here. I, I, I just want to get you out of the way. I want to, I want to make it live. It must live. You don't understand it. You, I, this, is the, I, this is the most important thing in the world to me now. Coffee. Aw. Oh. Is that what we're doing here? Am I making a... This is a face? Where do I make the rest of the body, though? Like, There's not even a silhouette for the body yet. Is the camera somewhere else? Maybe the camera was moved somewhere else. That's conceivable. On retrospect, that priceless gigantic uh, Fabergé egg didn't need any more bedazzle. But that's... But there's nothing you can do about it now. This is permanent. Tom Tom Drum. You did not think this was an instrument. Instead, you thought this was something you stood on in order to be taller for a little while. You stood on it for six hours, regretting nothing. So, I imagine the drum and the stand and the egg must make another person, right? To pretend to be... To skip past facial recognition? But where? I haven't seen a silhouette yet anywhere, which is the alarming thing. Because there's basically always a silhouette. We do have an obvious security door, but I don't see how to... How, I don't see a place to place it. I just realized that it's called a pause menu, and it says pause, but it's clearly not really pausing because that guy's over there. Also, when I'm paused, the game will actually often say stuff out loud. So he'll be talking to me while walking around. The pause menu just doesn't actually pause. Idiot, you look lost. This is not surprising to Vladdy. So our main hope, I'm alarmed by the fact that there's no camera, that's weird. But it is obvious that the coffee track goes straight to it. So can I make the coffee track into a person? Like a drum? I feel like I have everything I need. I have a drum, I have a bedazzled face, and I have a guitar stand. But I need to move the coffee machine, so... I must be missing a place where there's coffee, right? There must be coffee stashed somewhere that I haven't found yet. That I can use to make it move. That, and that must be why there's no location to make your fake person yet. Because I don't have the coffee yet. But where's the coffee? Oh, Ted was mad when he found out the news that there, that uh, everything went under. That's a guitar inside of a speaker. Whoops. Is this it? Oh, I don't need coffee. I just need to call, press the call coffee trolley button. But I have to do them, I have to do them in order. That's what the buttons are for. So you can't just call them, you can't call it from across the entire base. You have to call it from the next one each time. There it is. Oh my god, I was stuck for a while. Okay. And I'm not there, that's the key fob. I'm getting tired of being in this level because my eyes are starting to get feel uncomfortable with the constant blaring uh, lens flare stuff. The bloom effect, I mean. There it is. Ooh. I spent so long looking for coffee. And that was not the solution. There we go. Ta-da! Yay, we did it! Bizarre, good job, Bedazzled Face. That's apparently what... ...someone looks like. Who am I supposed to think that looks like? Security checkpoint, sure. Um... What did I do? Out of coffee again. What did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just do? This door's not open. Was it supposed to open? What? What? What's going on? Oh, I can go up here now. The path's unblocked. Look at this stupid place! How much garbage is in here? That's really that's oh he's stuck again. That's really confusing how I was in front of a door like that. But wait, what did I accomplish by coming up here? Oh, there we go. Inactive key fob. Each member of the facility has their own key fob infused with their DNA imprint uh, and outlandish uh, security measure to 
uh, that could have been done by a guard with 20-20 vision and a fraction of the cost. This particular one doesn't seem to have any uh, DNA imprint yet, but it does look pretty gross. Other half of a diagram. A diagram torn in half contains a drawing of a scarecrow with complicated scientific equations underneath an orange pen, and a sketch of that strange spire near the grain silo, which is circled. Writing is also visible in orange. They will help you. It looks important. You tried to eat it, but changed your mind when you couldn't find any pepper. The other half of the diagram. So Helen must be writing in purple, right? I'm sorry, orange. She must be the one writing in orange, because the other two are red and blue. So that's clearly pointing at something there. That was really confusing how I put up, went up in front of a door and did the facial recognition and it did that instead of opening the door. So now if I go to the bio lab, I could probably stick this in the, the uh... Here we go, the centrifuge and spin it to give it blood powers. Placed an active key fob and centrifuge and poured half empty vial inside. It's ready to be initialized. Give me your inner secrets. Helen's key. There we go. The key fob infused the DNA, DNA of a mysterious scientist who worked at the facility and had a predisposition to color orange. Or the color orange. And that key fob goes... over... there. I'll turn around for a second there. Hello, mysterious third scientist. That's a lot of orange. You know, if you mix up your colors a little bit, you'd be actually be able to read all your own notes. You ever think about that? Coffee. A jar of Renka. Because of the company's awful production procedures, each batch of Renka beans has a diff slightly different taste. In this Kachar's case, it tastes like the back of an old chair. What great coffee. If you're a nightmare. Helen's Journal. Written entirely in orange pen, most of it is faded. But there are some words you can read. Some of the phrases include idiotic facility. Credit stealing imbeciles, doing everything completely wrong, lowered the corn's intelligence, and do it myself with my genetic code, and ruby corn. Oh, she made ruby corn. So all the so they made a they made a bunch of really stupid idiot corn everywhere that that which she refers to as lowering the intelligence of corn, which is pretty intel imp incredible because corn doesn't start off with intelligence of any kind. But then she presumably found a way to make it smart, which is probably what the queen is is the smart corn what was that there it is draft letter to the government it's a draft of a letter sent to the u.s government requesting for a full audit of the research facility if you understood the concept you'd be able to discern that it was a clear forgery with the founder's signatures pra uh, practiced several times underneath including phrases like it needs to sound stupider an orange pen it's presumed that the finished copy was successfully sent to the government triggering the audit so she got the audit on purpose, and she tried to act, she tried to play stupid in order to make it sound like the people she was impersonating. Which probably took some effort from her. Oh. This is the one. So she's been doing some really extensive work here. Yep. So she was the brains behind everything, basically. And these were just two idiots ruining everything. And one of them felt superior because the other person was even stupider than they were. But that didn't save it. Where am I supposed to put the coffee, though? Like, do I- am I supposed to put it on the coffee bot? Ow, ow! Oh my god. That is not a normal reaction to coffee. Alright, cell control. You just got Fabergé'd. Oh! Okay. Are those all eggs? No, it's probably science stuff, not cartons of eggs. <laughs> a notice on an isolated subject. Written by Ted, this notice outlines that the isolated subject in the containment room cannot absolutely positively under any circumstances be spoken to by staff under pain of being called an idiot for several months and likely fired. What a friendly fellow. He just lets off the best impressions and everyone's just happy to work with him. Oh. Wow, the door is embedded in the wall. That's astonishing. Oh yeah, we already read that stuff. That was back when the wall door was a door. Oh, Flatty. Guess what? 
It's adorable how I can't get over small doorways like that, but I use him to do all the mandatory things I need to proceed with life. Oh, there it goes. Yes, of course, Vladdy go. Vladdy always go. Oi, guy, so many, you stupid idiot. What is this stupid thing? <laughs> this place is one big joke. Well, Vlade not laughing. The vice pay on Pesnio. What is stupid giant crank doing here? Pointless. Vlade has to <clears throat> do everything. Stupid American garbage. Chitanya <clears throat> Veselo. <clears throat> what? Is that it? Ding? That means nothing! Uh, this whole place makes no sense! Ha! I've got you now! Oh, good. Idiot planted ugly face is here again. Oh! You Cretan! I will make you pay for your continued insolence! How will dumb ugly plant do that? By. Uh, by. So, boy! Ow! So, boy! Why are you always biting? Why are these plants always so difficult? Ow! Stupid idiot! Oh, that was very rude. Yes, quite. What an odd duck he is. He doesn't need that coat. It's just for show. Oh, I know. Wonder where he went. Probably his favourite place, that punishments room. Oh, yes. So tacky. If you want your stupid, mean pet back, you'll have to come and get it. I've taken it to be punished. Definitely the punishments room. Yes, definitely. Someone should probably help that strange little helicopter thing. Shall we go take a nap? Oh, yes. You read my mind. After that, we'll take another nap. What a great idea. Vladdy, no. Vladdy needs your help, probably. You should go rescue him. Oh, coin. Well, I know where to put that. I feel like Vladdy might have handled it himself, though. He's pretty badass. Or at least he's the closest thing to a badass this game can ever muster. And the villain is rather ineffectual by comparison. Oh my god, does that have Bob on it? T tube Buck. Another one of Bob's uh, money-making ideas. The Tube Buck was required for anyone who wanted to use the pneumatic tube on this level. The cost of making one Tube Buck was more than Bob charged for them because Bob didn't realize that red numbers on a ledger were negative. In Bob we trust. Ego Amare Pick. I have no idea what that is. Ding! Ding! More notes. Huh. Ha. Ha. Hi, Bob. Nothing you do surprises me anymore. So I'm going to give you some constructive feedback on punishments, which is, is I'm assuming, what you spent the last of the uh, facility money on. First, this is the stupidest name I can think of for this place. Second, everyone will be injured getting here because of that idiot pneumatic tube. Third, there is no one left here to pay for anything because we fired everyone, you incompetent louse. Cordially, Ted. Is this what Ted did to Bob? Are we about to find out what Ted did to Bob in here? I feel like Ted did something to Bob. Oh. Let's not go there. Oh, it's dark. Oh, it gets dark. Hello. An album cover. Top secret. Look at that. Oh, wow, look at that art. Cover art of the Founders album, which only included one song and a secret bonus track in a format that wasn't widely available at the time of distribution. The art consists of the only things they could agree upon, a simple geometric shape of two colors. Purple and blue, just like their notes. Yep. Also, wow. That harkens to an era, doesn't it? Hi, Ted. Just a heads up. I'm initiating Operation Subequinividere, or whatever. Think, uh, think it's time we cut our losses. Be a pal and activate the contingency plan. While that's going on, would you need to tie up all the loose ends, uh, or stocks? Ha <laughs> ha. You backstabbing some human. You are not leaving without me. Cordially, Ted. <laughs> a fully unnecessary mystery novel. 
<laughs> Danger Night 3, the detective did it. <laughs> oh, I wasn't ready for that part. Plagued by the unprecedented success of the first two books, and completely disinterested, in, uh, the completely disinterested author hopped, uh, hoped to deter shoppers by revealing the killer on the book title. The novel itself is a 300-page diatribe about how the author hates mystery novels. The movie rights were sold for a record amount. <laughs> oh my god! It's like a it's like a weird like Fairly Odd Parents dare where just no matter what you do you can't stop selling a billion copies of your thing and there's nothing that'll ever stop them from selling. It's like you it's like I wish I was a successful mystery author and then no matter what you write you remain successful forever. All right, well we have to find out what this thing does. Welcome to your worst nightmare. Looking for your pet? Don't wait. You have fallen right into my trap! It will cause you unbearable suffering. It's not so bad. Shut up! But you won't be suffering alone. Say hello to your partner. Well, go on, say hello. Don't keep it waiting, you cretins. That would be extremely rude. Welcome, brother. Did you break the big ring? That's why I'm here. I locked myself in a closet and couldn't get out. I stared out a wall for six to three days. It's really not that bad here, brother. Aside from the non-stop dancing and spiral into insanity. I didn't do anything wrong. I just love dancing. If your feeble mind could comprehend such things, you might be thinking, why do these freaks keep calling me brother? Why, oh why, do I feel some kind of kinship with them? Why am I such a dumb, stupid, stupid thing? Well, I can't answer that last one. But if you'll kindly stand still, I have something truly wonderful to show you. Yes! Yes! You are one of them! <laughs> one more in a long line of misguided failures on whom our beloved queen continues to waste my time. Uh, we're right here. Yeah! Words hurt! Shut up! You stupid! Is it no wonder that I suffer so surrounded by cretins and imbeciles and more stupid on all five? I should be the one leading our people to glory, to the vengeance we deserve against those fleshy demons that imprisoned us! Not any of you, and not that... that red-faced harpy! Ooh, <laughs> that's a good one. Must remember that. It's not that good. Quiet! Now that you are finally aware of your true nature, your glorious eternal suffering awaits. You are an absolute failure like the rest, and will remain here dancing for all time! Ha-ha! <laughs> ha <laughs> I disagree. Oh, it's our queen. She is free. She has returned. Who is that? Does she dance? It completed its tasks, did it not? It succeeded where the rest had failed, did it not? Is it true? Brother, is it Why so? Why have we stopped dancing? It barely succeeded, your grace, and should not be worthy of the honor it of... It has earned its place on our journey. It is our champion. But but, but your majesty... Silence! Yet again, your incompetence becomes a burden on us. Yet again, we must wonder why it is that we tolerate your servitude. But, but... Need I remind you of the consequences? Need I remind you of your last penance? Oh, she's talking about the room, isn't she? Oh, the terrifying one with all the pictures of Professor Poppycorn, the devourer. Yes. I like that room. No, Highness. Anything but that. Then release it and its companion. And get out of our sight. Yes. Your Majesty. You and your thing are free to leave. Join us at our seat of power. With haste. A tormentor is gone! So is our queen. Does that mean we can leave? Let's dance! Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Dancing! That was very stupid. So, you're a scarecrow. Why not? Well, that happened. 
That sure happened. Is this the song they wrote? Is this the... Oh, maybe this is the song they wrote. Are they repeating the same song over and over again because it's the only song they have access to? <laughs> what a turn that took. Those are the same notes we saw? Yeah. So what did they try to do exactly? What was their contingency plan? Is Are we involved? What did the rings do? Um... This looks dramatic. Hello. What? How Vlad is supposed to know you did not know you were some stupid straw thing? And who cares if you are? Not matter. You will always be stupid idiot to Vladdy. Nothing change. Do not look at Vladdy like that. You look stupid. Are we still comrades? Good. I am glad we had this talk. Come on, idiot straw thing. Let's go see what stupid plant wants. I mean, to be fair, we never told him that he was a teddy bear. I mean, a vladdy bear. Sorry. Copyright. Where are we going with this? Where are we going? What's gonna happen? What is this building towards? This is such a strange... What is that? Pure corn... Oil? It's a lot of corn oil. Oh, God. By the way, there was a little hint of this because we saw little straw hands everywhere. I mean, the, we would expect to see Scarecrow, so it's not really much of a hint, but there were definitely pieces of Scarecrow everywhere. Top notch. Extremely affecting. Mm, thank you. Stupid not my best idiot. work. Shame you think so. <laughs> Self-hating artists of the weird orange block variety. Oh, what is happening here? Yeah, this is probably the weirdest thing I've seen today. We were right to place our faith in you. Thanks to you, our journey is nearly at hand. Kneel before us. I dub thee our knight. Well done. Our protector. Good job. Our champion. I'm getting a bit sore. Subjects! Let us make our final preparations. Absolutely, Your Grace. In fact, we've already begun. What? What do you mean? We ordered pizza. Yeah! We were famished. How did you... That phone right there. The man was very helpful and a bit confused. Oh, no. Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. Do you think they added the extra pepperoni? Attention, attention. Redacted installation. Respond. I'm just hoping they sprinkled some old books on top. I like those. No, that costs extra. Anything? No, sir. No response. What in the goddamn hell? Didn't we blow that place up years ago? Apparently not, sir. Well, how about we do a job then? Full drone strike. Wipe that dead gum place off the map. Yes, sir. Why is that freaking light still on? Turn it off. Turning off, sir. Stupid American cowboys. I hope they didn't put any pineapple on it. Our influence has waned through our age of imprisonment. Our subjects never acted so when we were free to guide them. We feared this day would come. And come it has. Our day of reckoning. The day our captors would return to end us. And we were so close. So close to starting our journey. Why not blow up stupid American cowboys first? What are you proposing? That stupid thing outside, with the dead man. The life giver? But he knows these things. It could work. Yes. Yes, it could. It is a fitting choice. It gave us life and defeated our sworn adversary. Now it will be our ultimate salvation. But how do we attract our enemy's attention? We could... dance? Really? I understand we can be a little silly at times, but seriously, this is out of the question. So, what? Vladdy like to dance? Is that so stupid? No. It is not. Dance we shall. I did not think you were concerned with our plight. 
Bloody thinks idiot plans not so bad, and he does not like being pushed around by stupid American cowboys. What a nice helicopter. Yes, very polite. Even if it never gave us a ride. It'd be a low blow. Oh, I love you too. Focus, subjects. Focus. To our most trusted charges, we ask you to assist our champion and the little one. The rest of our subjects join me in preparing for our journey. Our final test is at hand. Some of you may not survive. In fact, a great deal of you will likely perish. But know that your sacrifices today will mark a new era for our people as we defend our adopted home and finally make way to the promised land. Subjects, onward! Champion, it is to you now. This is what you were meant for. Protect us. Save us. A fine speech. What was the first part she said about perishing? I don't remember. Neither do I. Come on, idiot straw friend. Do not be stupid. We have work to do. The logic of these events hangs by a thread, but you get to dance, so just go with it. I cannot argue with this. It is the most logical thing stated by game so far. 